How many videos am I gonna make on this scout rifle? I'm not gonna lie to you guys, Polaris Lance is my favorite weapon in the game. But I've been seeing some trash talking, some people saying Polaris is not all that it's cracked out to be. Some are stating that the legendary version of Polaris, which is the Braytec RWP Mark II, is even better than Polaris. Now this is the legendary form of Polaris before it actually becomes Polaris and then the Scent Don Quest. Or I think that's how we got it. I can't remember, it's been so long ago. Regardless, these weapons are almost identical, except one is an exotic and another one a legendary. Today, we're gonna have these two scout rifles square off, boys, because yeah, my favorite weapon in the game is starting to get some back talk from folks, and I just can't stand for that. Now, going into this, I want you to know I am not biased. Whatever you may have just heard or the tone in my voice, I'm giving both of these weapons a very fair shake. Now, Polaris Lance, all oh, this baby. It's so beautiful. I mean, I know both of these weapons look alike, but the ornaments for Polaris Lance are just sexy. It comes with the perk, the perfect fifth. Precision hits return ammo to the magazine. Landing for precision hits loads a delayed solar explosive round for your next shot. Now that explosive round, man, it goes a long way in a lot of different things. We did a build here recently called One-Eyed Lance. Highly suggest you guys check it out. Essentially though, it allowed us to two-tap guardians here in Crucible. Some thorn flashbacks, huh? Needless to say, Polaris is nasty for a lot of other reasons outside of that build. The weapon has great stability, it comes with Zim Moment, and we also have a fitted stock which really helps with that stability. But when we look over here at the Braytech version, the perks here are not very different. You still see Zen moment. We still see small bore as well as tactical mag. The only difference is instead of that final perk being fitted stock, it's triple tap instead. Now stat wise, both of these weapons look very similar. Except if you notice the stability on Polaris Lance is about 28 higher. And the handling here is about four less than what it is on the Braytech version. But everything else here is identical. So which one of these is actually better? To be honest with you guys, both of these are so similar. If you were to load my character out with one and told me to guess, it would be very difficult. I mean, they look the same, they feel the same, and they pretty much shoot the same. They both have the ability to snag crit shots better than any weapon I've ever played with. The hitbox on these scout rifles is crazy. And that's not something that Polaris has over Braytech. Both of these are very similar in its ability to land crits after crits. And when you're trying to reach that optimal time to kill of 0.8 seconds, that's what it boils down to. Yes, I like perks like Perfect Fifth. I like the Catalyst on here as well, giving us Dragonfly. All those things are just gravy though, because at the end of the day, if you can't land three crits in a row successfully, that 150 round per minute scout rifle is garbage. In terms of which one of these is better, at least for console though, Polaris Lance was a little bit easier to land shot to shot with just because of that big bump in stability. It also made me realize that the perks themselves on Polaris Lance are a lot more useful than what we give it credit for, especially in something like PvE. So of course, for this comparison, Polaris Lance to me wins hands down in PvE, but obviously the comparison is more draw toward PvP. And for PvP, for me, this is how it's gonna go. From now until the end of January, I will continue to rock Polaris Lance with whatever weapon in that kinetic slot. Doesn't really matter to me. Polaris is in the energy slot, the same as the Break Tech version, and it's all gravy. But at the end of January, there's a good chance Polaris Lance will be replaced by Braytech RWP Mark II. And that is because at the end of the month, last word will be here. It will be in our kinetic slot from what we're being told, and it will be what we hope it to be, the ultimate shotgun counter. And of course, last word is an exotic. Now it's always been a dream of mine to rock last word, not with the sniper, because I know that's what a lot of people like to do back in Destiny 1. Not that that wouldn't be fun either. No, guys, my dream is to rock Last Word with a nasty 150 round per minute scout. I mean, if I could have it my way, Last Word, Kakaitis together, both of those, that is the dream. But Braytech will do. So guys, that is the plan for me. Believe me, I love Polaris. I think it's a fantastic exotic. But when Last Word is here, it will definitely be taking my exotic slot. And considering we don't have many 150s in that energy slot that are just truly good and reliable, I think we have the cut and run which is kind of you know it's okay it's hit or miss i've got some really good rolls on it and it's still kind of eh you know what i mean 
Our legendary Polaris, though, will more than likely be taking that spot and will be the weapon to hold down the mid to long range engagements while Last Word handles everything up close. So guys, that is my comparison for both of these. Both of these scouts are very good. Neither of these scouts will do you wrong. Polaris is arguably one of the best, if not the best scout rifle in the game. I know a lot of people like Jade Rabbit. I choose Polaris over Jade, even with the catalyst. And on top of that, I choose even the legendary version of Polaris over Jade Rabbit. And really, it just comes down to the consistency that this weapon has, the ability to just land crit shots when we know that is not a crit that we are landing. That hitbox is gigantic, man. It's going to be a nasty weapon to rock with last word. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. <laughs>